Good morning everyone, it's Rebecca from Suburban Stone Age. I wanted to do a quick aquaponics um, update for you. And here's the situation, is this is the 29 gallon tank which um, I have basically my aquaponics going in, if you will. So there's some mint cuttings floating, some pothos cuttings that just really just don't care that they're in this fish tank. They love it, they're happy, they're staying alive. I jammed them in the reservoir of an extra filter that I had and they even were floating in the tank for a time and it just doesn't seem to bother anybody so that's good news. Um, the mint is doing really well. I It's doing so well that I um, made even more cuttings. So here's a cutting with the root on it and um, all the other ones instantly sprouted roots too. So this system, this is still a proof of concept stage where um, I'm just getting my own experience level up with aquaponics to see how this whole situation works, but I've had success. So, hey, if I can do mint, I can expand into other areas, uh, which I intend to do. So let's talk about the tank for a second though. Um, this is newly planted and this is a shout out too to Dustin's Fish Tanks. I found Dustin's fish tanks um, on YouTube when I was getting back into fish and he had a special running a 50% off beginner aquarium plants running over the last couple weekends so um, naturally he's hilarious and <laughs> and he makes me laugh so I ordered his plant set for beginners and they came so there's jungle val and a large amazon sword and I think that's Anubius, but you know what? It's been so long since I've done aquarium, aquariums, and I don't know my plants off the top of my head. But anyway, these big, beautiful green plants, I was so delighted when I got them. Um, that bush back there, it's not a bush, it's a, it's a set of cuttings. Um, anyway, everything looked fantastic. It was very generous portions, great big, huge plants. I'm, I was delighted. So thank you, Dustin. Um, also... This is my favorite part. Let's. Wow! I got his autograph on my packing slip. Yay! So, anyway. Alright, so here's what's cool about this particular project, though, is see that blue glass down in there? Well, one of the things I've been working on is uh, a bottle cutter, and so that's a vodka bottle that I was able to cut down and sand the edges on and use it as a little glass dish for these um, plants. So, inside is actual dirt. Um, Dustin is big into dirted aquariums and I'm not quite ready to make the leap to a full dirted tank yet. I'd like to, but uh, I thought I'd go take a baby step and I dirted those little dishes. Dirt in the bottom, planted the plants, added the little mineral clay, put rocks on top so the dirt wouldn't float out too bad. And there we go. We're going to see how that does. So the plants get what they need. I can move them around to do what I need to do. They look cool because that blue glass is beautiful. So there's a vodka. I did it more with a couple other planners too. That's, I think, champagne back there. That's wine. Um, another champagne. So it's a great way to upcycle um, glass bottles, but also um, use it in your aquaponics slash aquarium projects. So, all right, guys, I'll keep you posted on how it's going. Now that, like I say, I feel more comfortable with the success of my mint cuttings and other stuff. I'm going to expand out uh, into even more types of things, maybe more mint, still not sure, um, but I'll bring you along for the ride. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the videos, and again, thanks to Dustin's Fish Shanks for the awesome aquarium plants.